<laughs> That's right, Fred. There's a great sense of excitement building here at Wellington College and just by the main drive which leads up to the school. Now, we saw the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh arrive here well under half an hour ago. They were taken straight to the sports hall just next to where I'm standing, where most of this round square conference is taking place. And at the moment, they're in the buildings behind me, meeting some of the people doing the hard work, all the organisation and a few of those thousand foreign students who we've seen arriving here all day, ready for the conference, which begins properly tomorrow. The tribe of Wellington College is lined with the flags of 90 countries. Students from each have been arriving all day. Many have travelled thousands of miles, and for some, it's their first visit to England. My first impression, you know, place tribe of buildings, large buildings and majestic buildings, a lovely experience. Got schools from Thailand, from, from the States, from everywhere really, so it's just been, for me, it's the best part of being here. A thousand students will stay at Wellington for a week to learn about different cultures, take part in new activities and work on community projects. There'll be adventure too. One group will travel to nearby Sandhurst Military Academy to try the assault course. The conference has taken two years to plan. Much of the hard work has been done by Wellington pupils. It's been a long run up to it. We've been very busy organising it. It's been such a learning curve. But I think everyone's so excited for it to actually have to be happening now. The ideas and the energy that's present in, in one place uh, during these conferences is phenomenal. Um, so it's fantastic and I'm really looking forward to it. The guests keep arriving. The most are looking forward to the highlight of today and the arrival of the royal couple. The aim of the Round Square Conference is that the students take the skills and experience they learn here back to schools and colleges all over the world. Well, as I said, the Queen at the moment inside the main school building behind me. We're expecting her to leave quite shortly down the main driveway and it's likely to be lined with pupils hoping to catch a glimpse of her. The excitement doesn't end when she leaves. The conference begins, of course, tomorrow. Okay, thank you very much indeed. Uh -huh.